On Saturday, Minnesota traded a seventh-round draft pick to the Seattle Seahawks for Brock, presumably for him to compete with second-year nickel corner Mackenzie Alexander, who struggled to nail down the job in the preseason. Brock, who played at the University of Minnesota in 2008, spent only two weeks in Seattle on a one-year, $980,000 contract after playing seven seasons for the San Francisco 49ers. Police reportedly arrested him April 6 after officers responded to a report of domestic violence and found a woman who had visible injuries and learned she was Brock's girlfriend. The 49ers released him the following day. Prosecutors, citing a lack of evidence, dismissed the case on August 16. It wasnt an incident, Brock said Tuesday after his first practice with the Vikings. It was nothing. It was just a regular argument, just a misunderstanding. An NFL spokesman told 1500aspend.com on Saturday the NFL was still reviewing Brock's case under the personal conduct policy, which empowers Commissioner Roger Goodell to punish players who come into police contact. I feel like when I was in Seattle, everything was already taken care of, Brock said. I just feel like nothing will happen. I feel like they won't find anything because nothing happened. Zimmer concurred when asked whether he expects Brock to be disciplined by the league. I don't think so. We've done our due diligence, he said. Brock signed with San Francisco as an undrafted free agent in 2010 and started 40 of 80 games, including 31 the past two seasons. He has 11 career interceptions and was ranked 20th among starting cornerbacks by data manning site Pro Football Focus. Zimmer said Brock has a slight groin injury but I thought his cover skills were good, and we like the things he did last year and his ability to do the things that we did defensively. The Vikings seem uncertain whether Alexander, a 2016 second-round pick, can succeed Captain Manolin at nickel corner. He already has assumed Manolin's number 24 jersey. Brock only played 68 snaps last season but was on the field for the entire first half of Thursday's preseason finale against Miami while the rest of Minnesota's defensive starters sat out the game. Alexander was flagged for taunting after breaking up a pass in the end zone, a penalty that allowed the Dolphins to score on the next play, which hurt Zimmer during his post-game news conference. I don't think it was very good, Zimmer said. We had a little discussion about it. Standing 5 feet 10, 197 pounds, Brock's experience and versatility gives Minnesota another inside-outside option in the secondary behind cornerbacks Xavier Rhodes, Trey Waynes and Terrence Newman. He's played nickel a lot, Zimmer said. He played nickel in Seattle the whole time he was there, and he played corner in San Francisco. Brock said he is prepared to play anywhere and welcomed the opportunity to compete for a job with one of the NFL's top defenses. Just being back in Minnesota and being part of this defense, I feel like they've got a great defense just like Seattle, and I just want to be a part of it, he said. The Pioneer Press is a forum news service media partner.